talk about something nice then. Oh, Mama, tell me about the wagon. <coughs> Change so fast I can't keep up with you. Mama, please, the story about the wagon. I don't know anything about telling stories. Why don't you get great big teachers of yours to do that for you? Tell me about the horses again and how you stole the wagon. You want a cigarette? Don't talk about how they shoot the horses, though. I mean, you know the whole story. Apples, pears, cucumbers. No, no, no. It's apples, pears, cucumbers. <laughs> apples, pears, cucumbers. <laughs> how did you get the wagon out without him seeing you? Well, that was easy. Every afternoon, he'd come home and make us both some sandwiches. My mama had been dead for years. And Take a nap on the old sofa that used to be there. While he was sleeping, I hitched up the horses and rode all around town yelling, Apples, pears, cucumbers. Oh, but you did it, Mom. You bet I did. I had more nerve than a bear when I was your age. It takes nerve to sit up on that wagon. Apples, pears. <laughs> Did he find out you took the wagon? What did he find out? He came running down the block after me and spanked me right on top of that wagon. Not hard, but it was so embarrassing. I had one of those penny marshmallow chips in my back pocket. Got all smushed. <laughs> <laughs> you bet I never did it again. You would have loved him, Ruth. Been all around town. Went as loud as you wanted. Apples, pears, cucumbers, no. cucumbers. <laughs> I'm only be about 65 now. Did you know that? My father made up for all the other men in this world, Ruth. <clears throat> all that fun, and then I don't think I ever really knew what hit me. Don't tell about the, don't tell about the horses. What hit you? Well, it was just me and Papa and your father hanging around, and Papa got sick. I drove up with him to the sanatorium. He begged me to marry, so he knew I'd be taken care of. <laughs> if he knew how I was taken care of, he'd roll over in his grave. And the nightmares. Do you want to hear about the nightmares I used to have? I never had nightmares over the fights with your father, or the divorce, or his thrombosis. He deserved it. I never had nightmares over any of that. Do you want to hear about the nightmares that used to come back and back? Well, I'm on Papa's wagon. Newern, shiny, being pulled by white horses, not dirty work horses. These are like circus horses. Long manes and tinsel. And the wagon's blue, shiny blue. And it's filled with yellow apples, grapes, and green squash. Don't laugh, but I'm wearing a lovely gown all covered in jewels, and my hair stuck up with a big feather in it. And there's bells strung across the back, and a big gold braid, huge bells swinging. Dong 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 That doesn't sound like a nightmare to me. Then I turn down our street and everything gets quiet. Our street with all the doors shut tight and everything crowded close to each other and there's not a sound, not a single sound. Start getting worried that the vegetables are going to spoil and that I'm not going to sell anything. I try and call out and, and I look across the street and I see a window. And the curtain slowly parts and I see the face of my father staring back at me. Ruth, get that out of my eyes. <laughs> Is Nanny going to die here? No. What are you going to do with her? Get rid of her. Oh, God. Mama, are you crying? What's left for me, Ruth? What, Mama? What's left for me? Thank mm -hmm. you.